The Hudson River Valley in New York State is one of the East Coast's most beautiful areas. It's no wonder that it's attracted the movers and shakers of the late 19th and 20th centuries to its natural beauty and amazing vistas. Today, we're visiting Kaikit, an iconic estate from the era of the great industrialists. It's home to several generations of Rockefellers and epitomizes the glamour and the elegance of that time. I'd like to welcome you to Kaikit, home to the Rockefeller family. There were four generations of family to have lived in this home. The word Kaikit means overlook or look out. It's a Dutch word. It's perfectly fitting that this house sits on the top of a hill. We're 500 feet above sea level. When the first inhabitant moved in, that was John Davison Rockefeller Sr. and his wife Laura, there were some structural issues with this home. So they decide, after living here for two years, to move out. They get the landscape architect, William Mills Bosworth, the interior designer, Ogden Codman, to come in, fix the problems of the home, and in doing so, they change the whole facade of the home. How they fix the problems was to extend the roof line upward. You heightened your chimney so you didn't have the smoke any longer. The delivery service entrance was now covered over so that when the trucks came in in the morning, there was no longer any noise or view of those trucks. The architects wanted the home to look as if it had been here for generations, similar to the Roman temples where they had pediments and carved figures within those pediments. Junior then has them put in a replica of the statuary you would find at the Boboli Gardens in Florence, Italy. This is Oceanus. Oceanus is the king of the river gods. When Bosworth created these gardens, he created them as a series of garden rooms. The focal point of each garden was to be different. He considered himself an environmental artist, and by that he meant find the perfect placement for each of these pieces, where nature would enhance that piece of sculpture, and in turn that piece of sculpture would enhance the surrounding areas. So each generation who came to live in this home added upon the prior generation as far as likes and interests in the home. The first large room that you're going to see is the music room. The music room contains the oculus, or eye, as it is in Latin. When that music played, the music would filter up to the second floor. The room behind me is the library. A lot of people in the turn of the century wanted a library in their home. The reason being, it was a symbol of wealth and education, and he focused a lot of his attention in designing the room around the bookcase. The bookcase was given as a gift to Senior and his wife when he moved in by their son, Junior. The office was used originally by John Senior and Junior, and there they created what was known as scientific giving, philanthropy. And then when you walk across the hallway, you'll come to the drawing room, and that was the ladies' side of the home. In earlier times, when women were inviting guests to come in, women in particular, they would have their own space in which to entertain. So with the house being built in the year 1908, and it was a long time ago, but yet we still have a lot of modern conveniences. When you walk through those doors, the first thing you'll see is an Otis elevator. That was put in in the first construction of the home, and it is something we still do use today. They had electric lighting, both indoors and outdoors, as early as the year 1908. This was meant to be a family home. It was simply meant to keep family together. But when Nelson came in, he was then governor of New York State. So they used to invite quite a few people, and in that dining room and sitting at that table have been some of our presidents, the Reagans, the Fords have dined here. We've had the Empress and Emperor of Japan, King Hussein of Jordan, and even Nelson Mandela has dined at that dining room table with this family. The last of the Rockefellers lived here in the 1970s, when Nelson Rockefeller, his wife Happy, and their two sons were in residence. In 1976, Kaiket was declared a National Historic Landmark and National Trust Site, and it was open to the general public to visit. It also serves as a philanthropic center for the Rockefeller Brothers Fund, and their charitable work continues to this day. 